Scrappers, Moose here. So this video I'm going to be talking about, um, a lot of people out there have asked, you know, what can they do with their circuit boards if they don't want to do gold recovery themselves? Which is perfectly fine. I mean, a lot of people aren't comfortable with the acids and I wouldn't suggest trying that if you're not. So there are some options for selling your boards. Try your scrapyard first. Usually they'll give you a low price, uh, but it's better than nothing. There are some other sites out there that um, I've heard are pretty good. One of them that I, that I can personally recommend is BoardSort.com and the other one is going to be uh, CashForElectronicScrap.com. There's also CashForComputerScrap.com. Uh, those I think are, are the three big ones and I've had some viewers say that, you know, They've had some good luck with them and some bad luck with them. Sometimes it takes a while to get paid, sometimes it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking two of those, BoardStore.com, and I'm going to choose one of the other ones. I'll let you know in the um, in the title of the video, and when I send it in, and by the end of the video, you'll know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two boxes with exactly the same weight of material, send them both out, and I'm going to... Um, show you when I send them out, when the items get received, when I get paid, and how much I get paid for it. So hopefully that can kind of give an idea of you know, which company you'd want to use. So I'm going to show you what I've got here. Alright, so I've got a small variety of materials here. I've got uh, PCI cards, which are all of those um, like video cards and sound blaster cards and stuff like that, and they're all trimmed. All right, so I, I took the gold fingers off. That I recovered that myself. That's my fun. Um, I've got some three and a half inch drive boards. I have a whole bunch of DVD ROM boards, and I have a few pounds of hard drive logic boards. So I'm going to split those up separately into two boxes and send them out. All right. So let's wrap up the. Um, video on selling your circuit board scrap. So what I've done is uh, I showed you in the beginning of the video the, the two boxes that I had that were pretty much identical. Um, the one that I sent to boardsort.com had a little bit extra material in it. Um, a couple reasons I did that. One, because boardsort takes more things than uh, cash for electronic scrap USA does. They take things like um, silver plated brass, stuff like that. Uh, so I packed more in there also because with board store you have to pay for your own shipping. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to have enough material in there to you know, get a check back. So I also want to note it, uh, make sure you, you note that neither of these companies have paid me for this video. Uh, the purpose of this video is to give you, the viewer, info on two companies that I've um, tried out. Right? I've personally tried these out. You saw the two packages that I sent over. So I've got a, a bit of a review, a couple of categories for um, different things that I've observed. Uh, so first of all, the website, uh, portsort.com, it's easy to navigate. They have great pictures and descriptions, um, the forums for help, the clear pricing. Um, you have to upload pictures of your, of your scrap, which is a little cumbersome, but it helps to eliminate any confusion and helps to make sure that you get paid the most for what you have. Um, that's for Cash for Electronic Scrap USA, which I'll call, um, I'm going to call them CJ Environmental, because that's who they do business as. Um, their website as well, easy navigation, the pictures are okay. Um, not much of an explanation as to what is what. Um, for pricing, you need to fill out a form and submit it. It takes about the same time as uploading the pics. Um, but you need to do that in order to get a quote from them. And uh, yeah, so that's good for them. Customer service, uh, board sort. Chris at board sort gets back to you really quickly. He's very honest, he's knowledgeable, he's willing to work with you uh, to make your transaction a great experience. I got nothing but great things to say about Chris. Um, as far as CJ Environmental, they have instant chat available, which is very fast. Um, they respond to emails very quickly. Uh, the techs or the people responding often have to check with supervisors for more information. Uh, they generally seem eager to please and want your business, which is a good thing. Uh, next category is shipping. Uh, so with board sort, 
you need to pay for shipping. Uh, they have a calculator tool to show you approximately how much your scrap is worth so you can gauge uh, how much you'll make after paying for shipping. Uh, the process is well outlined to ensure that your package doesn't get lost, there's no confusion, um, and things go smoothly. With CJ Environmental, um, they paid for the shipping, which was nice. Uh, the shipping process was simple. They email you a shipping label. Um, our shipping process is also pretty simple to make sure your package doesn't lo get lost. They, um, uh, they give you an email and stuff to print out to put in your package and they give you directions so it's, it's pretty easy to do. Um, for larger freight shipments, their customer support works with you to find local places for you to get large orders freighted to them, which was nice. Um, next category is items purchased. Um, board sort seems to have a wider variety of broken down scrap items purchased as well as um, plated silver, DLPs from projection TVs, etc. Um, I, I, like, I like that about them. They, they seem to take more items. CJ Environmental, they may take a little bit less, however, they will buy entire unbroken down computers as well as other whole electronics with just a few exclusions, which is nice. If, if you don't want to take the time to break things down, great, do it that way. You'll make a little bit less money, but that's an option for you. Payout time. Both of them, um, both packages were sent out on a Thursday, and exactly seven days later I got a check from CJ Environmental and a PayPal deposit from BoardSort.com. So, in BoardSort.com, you don't have to worry about a, a lost check in the mail. They deposit it right into your PayPal account if you have that. They can also send you a check if you want. Um, and CJ Environmental, I mean, just didn't have any problems getting it. So, um, as far as uh, my the payout itself, BoardSort for the the package that I sent to BoardSort, I got sixty-five dollars. Um, now, I, I put in a couple extra items in there as well. I put in almost a pound of um, silver-plated brass, a couple of other little mid-grade boards, maybe. So I got $65, and it cost $22 to ship it. So I ended up making you know, 43 bucks, which is good. There's, there's nothing wrong. It was a small box, so you know, 43 bucks is, is nothing to, to goff at. However, for CJ Environmental, um, on their website, they boast at least three times more than the competitor, and I got $91 for the material that I sent in. Um, I sent in a little less material than I sent to BoardSort, shipping was paid, so that's, that's how they performed. My impression is uh, with BoardSort, they seem to be focused on seller education, uh, letting people know exactly what they have. Uh, they have great picks and descriptions. Um, Chris Skeels is, is very honest and helpful if you have questions. Cash for computer, uh, sorry, cash for electronic scrap USA.com. Um, it has a very large company feel to it. Uh, for some, it may feel like they dance around the value of items, but in all honesty, it's hard, it's hard for a company to give you um, a, a really good estimate because of the wide variety of different scrap there is out there. Um, as for each company's reputation, uh, from my viewers and from my experience, BoardSort has by far the best reputation. Um, they have a good record for payouts, never losing packages, customer service, forums, etc. Viewers have shared letters stating that their packages were lost in the shuffle with um, cash for electronicscrapusa.com possibly due to the senders or the value of the scrap didn't equal the cost to ship so there was you know, an issue with that um, but, but there again it's this is one of those things where because it's so hard to gauge the value of what you have a lot of times people think that they're getting ripped off when really they're not um, so it's really important to educate yourself to know exactly what the value is of what you have which is why board sort is a great site for that so that's my impression for both of those sites um, go ahead and make your own decision. CJ Environmental is in Massachusetts, so it's nice and close to me uh, here in Maine, so I, I like to use them. Uh, board sort, 
I, I got to give board star kudos. I mean, they really take the time to educate people, which is really important, especially for people who are just starting in this. So, you know, my hat's off to them as well. So, I'll let you make the decision. Go with whoever you prefer. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.